Being the youngest of nine in a family of six sisters and two brothers presented a lot of challenges. One of those was that I feel, well, kind of left out. And I know that sounds peculiar because being in, a, in such a large family, you would think you would always feel included and accepted. But I really didn't. And at a young age, I began to lie, steal, and to do things that would cause people to notice me. Having very little uh, acceptance of, from my family members, I felt sad and I felt lonely. I can remember at a, at a very, at a young age, seven years old, my, my brother stepping up and saying, Paul, God loves you and he wants you to change and to not do the things that you've been doing. And not only did he speak to me in that way, but he also did things that encouraged me. He took me out to play basketball. He showed me that I did have value and worth in myself that I had never really felt before. And there it was, my 20-year-old brother taking his 12-year-old brother out to play basketball with his friend. It really encouraged me and helped me to see that I were, was a person of value. I'm so thankful for him and all the things that he said to me and spoke to me. In Ephesians 4 we read that the scripture is talking about an infant being tossed back and forth by the, by the waves. That really is what it was like when I was younger. I really had very little direction. But you know, the beautiful thing of that passage is that it speaks of something that I needed and finally I received, and that was someone speaking the truth in love to me. See, the speaking the truth in love meant that I would be willing to accept and understand what that person was saying, recognizing that person was speaking Christ into my life. I am so thankful for my brother, the one who gave me guidance and support. James had been such an encouragement and a help to me, he'd even helped me to see that I could make some serious changes in my life. One of those was that I had a problem wetting my bed until the age of 12. Well, there was no one really to get me up so that I didn't wet my bed, but James did every single night. And I am so thankful for something that sounds so simple or silly, but it had such a huge impact on me. He was the hands and feet of Christ to me. He showed me that I was valuable and I had worth. He spoke the truth in love to me. And for that, I am very, very thankful. The person who helped me and encouraged me in my early years and brought me to an understanding of the love of Christ is my brother, James.